All right. What do you call it? Joe would genuinely like to know what you call this trick. Favourite one I've seen so far in the comments is from Mike Lilly. Pretzel grab. That makes sense, like. Consume. Sticking with Joe. Have you seen this picture of his skate and the groove? It looks like a friggin' tooth extraction, man. I mean, it's not too surprising. Just look how deep he is in that clip from before. Flippin' hell, man. That is a full Madonna, mate. Very good form. That is tens across the board. You can still grab those limited edition anodized orange frames from Solar Equipment. It's a very beautiful tango orange. Big orange. Oh, herb. Remember Brick? Disney are still cutting them checks with big Mike O'Pallet. Killing you. Rollerblading's version of Michael McIntyre. Dave McNamara has been trying his hand at comedy and trying to take shots at people for saying things wrong. Although he doesn't know the difference between forwards and fakie. The amount of control on that to then come off and fakey roll. Fakey roll down that little skinny ledge. Bruh. <laughs> Jeff Orta has been down in the lab creating custom 909s. You probably would have seen these floating about on the internet. I can't knock the finish on him. He has done a bang up job. A few people obviously pointed out that uh, having vans on there is a little bit of a stinker. Some other people also mentioned that the U1 already exists. <laughs> which is a little bit harsh. You need to get some old jug shoes on there, something like that. You could even get like one of Brain Dead's collab shoes, get them on there as well. If I had a choice, I'd be going for an Adidas Predator. Mate, that is a thing of beauty. Blade customization has definitely come on a little bit from the days of Rit dying everything, destroying your parents' gaff. Why is the cat hurt, boys? Just quite kindly put up a little tutorial about how you can do it yourself as well. Get involved, man, customize your skates up. The Them Skate Store are now carrying Moxie roller skates getting their fingers in all the pies man it makes total sense doesn't it really definitely crossover between the sports and you know expand your offering get more people coming through them doors get more money running through the tills and then put it into the things that we like and Tente Goods have released a new t-shirt that's manufactured solely using green energy from wind and solar panels hey that is smart Gotta be thinking about the planet, man. Especially considering we make skates out of plastic. <laughs> and ramps out of trees, like, oh my goodness. Gotta do something to try and equal that out a bit. The t-shirt itself has got some Japanese writing on there. Unfortunately, I'm not cultured enough to actually know what that means. I'll just have to believe whatever they tell me. Reminds me of people who go away on holiday and they're like tattoos in Japanese or Chinese and like, it's meant to mean love or power or peace or something like that but it actually means like grouting or quick dry cement watch crazy pills is now available for download there was a few technical difficulties to begin with you couldn't actually pay for the thing if you try to it wouldn't let you download it but if you put zero it's like oh yeah tuck into this get a load of this thing man like i want to pay i believe this thing has been resolved now so you can actually pay them for the hard work and you should man it's definitely worth it Spira goes off like loads of people go off actually definitely some like really hairy risky moments from Danny Amal well controlled though Joey Lungus kicking off Jimmy sticking it in there man really good skating I enjoyed it and I particularly liked the music as well I mean I do tend to notice that but this one was a really good one Get over there, download it and then try and give them some money if you can. Man, this Copenhagen lot keep themselves busy and have a load of fun while they're doing it in there. Most of the boys are involved in this one. Quinny, Frederick, Theodore, Carl Benny Roberts, Lindbergh, they're all in there having an absolute blast at this skate park. Does it have like train tracks on the bottom or something? Definitely a fruity design going on, some really good tricks in there. Quinny's an absolute lunatic, like how low he gets on this top sole. I don't know how he does it. Looks like a bloody good time, you should go and watch this one. Them skates posted up Raw Weekend, it's Siowa, Junkie Park, Kevin Lee, Soichi and Randy Spicer just ripping it up man. Really great to see them skates supporting someone young like Siowa and she is an unbelievable skater. So good, the future is bright. Sam Leverton posted up Rollerblading is Heavenly and it's him just like floating around this skate park man. Very light footwear, like a feather man. Just really smooth and cool. I'm well into it. USD Skates introduces Adam Rizal inside out. It's always great to see companies like USD introducing new young talent. It's a cool little park edit with some crafty maneuvers in there. Adam actually took first place at the Polish Junior Championships last year in September. Keep an eye on this kid. 
Harvest had its premiere over the weekend at the Beehive Skate Shop, Salt Lake City, Utah. I don't know if it's available yet for anybody else or how you get a hold of it, but keep your eye out for it. Hazen Bell's in it, Jet Rennett's in it, Josh Fields, and loads more. Listen. No jumper. Now, I didn't ever think I'd be speaking about no jumper in relation to rollerblading. But it's happened. If you don't know what No Jumper is, it's uh, started all by Adam22. His background is BMX. A lot of the interviews are like with rappers or with BMXs, skateboarders. Just cool things that were going on. It's expanded into like adult entertainers. And now Air Dolphin is on there. Man, Air Dolphin gets around all over the place. His visibility is ridiculous. They took all about him growing up, his association with Jinko, rollerblading, soap shoes. Now, no matter what you think about your kind of Air Dolphin style, if that doesn't really appeal to your sensitivities and your style of rollerblading, he is getting attention. And that is like eyes coming to the sport. And it's not to say that like, you know, they're gonna see him and be like, oh, this is the only way you do it. They're gonna see him dip him, see what else is around. Maybe they'll stick to his style and his things that he's doing, or they might see somebody else that catches their attention. So it's all good and fair play to Air Dolphin, man. He seems to be smashing it at the moment. One that a lot of people were really looking forward to was the Dominic Sagana interview on Jump Street Podcast. This comment caught my attention. Bro had us skating with t-shirts on our head and wearing two completely different color skates. <laughs> He did a fair bit of experimentation about how you actually wear a t-shirt and where you can wear a t-shirt. Also with the skates of two different colours. I tried to do that, but I actually had two different skates completely. I had one Sagona and one uh, Shima 2. I believe it was a Shima 2. Yeah, I thought that was clever. It wasn't much of a style thing. It was more of a preference on the grooves. But, you know, you're a kid, you do these things and you learn. Really great interview. Talks about how injuries are kind of like holding him back from rollerblading at the moment. Also dip into like what his influences were. Really interesting when he talks about obviously his breakdancing influence. And then mentions that uh, Latimer had the drifting influence. And I never really thought about that before. That's a really sick thing, man. That's a really sick influence to try and bring into rollerblading. I guess that's why Dustin Latimer is one of the goats. Loads of great stuff in there. He also had to hide his... Uh, 25th year celebration uh, skate that he's going to be getting they talked a little bit about that as well make sure you go and check this one out man up on the wheel scene this week was chase rushing if you don't know chase go and check out his video parts in forever now the meantime road to nowhere all filmed by brandon negretti he's an incredibly creative skater they talk a little bit about that. More recently, he's been involved in some of the artwork for the Mesmer skate, specifically on the sole and the insert. Really cool stuff there. They talk all about that, all about growing up in and around Dallas, skating with Farmer, skating Eisenberg's Park, all that kind of good stuff. Make sure you check this one out, man. And that is your lot for this week. If you like this, here's another video I did you can check out. Like, comment, subscribe, all that kind of business. You can support me through PayPal donation, Patreon. You can grab a tea as well if you like. And uh, yeah, see you all again next week. Spotty dog.